Today is the day, it's finally happened. Mom, I've made it. I have a sponsored video with Lego. Look at the size of this thing. It only took 600 videos worth of mentions to get it. Just like a little Lego. It's on clips like a little Lego, like a little Lego, Lego style ribbon connector. Both unsnap like little Legos. Lego, 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 Lego connections. The squeaky wheel gets the grease. I need an extra couple hands for this video. You might remember Cambry. She's here to help. Let's get started. So this is one of Lego's bigger sets. This is called the Rough Terrain Crane, and it's one of the Lego Technics, which is a slightly more complex system of Legos, you know, for, uh, for people older than just children. With 4,000 pieces, we might, uh, we might be here a while. So Cambry found what we think is the, uh, the manual. This is the first app, and this is the second app. Look how thick that is. 79 pages of bag one. <laughs> We're barely through step one, but we already have some pretty intricate designs going. And I'm not sure how this all fits together just yet, but all of these little different parts that we're building just snap in together like a little Lego. Okay, let's keep going. Like a little Lego. <laughs> so we've been at it for about two hours or so. This is the first instruction booklet and we are <laughs> this far into it. But it's been fun. I feel like it doesn't feel like it's been two hours. I lost track of time. We've done 143 steps, 144. Pretty proud of this, it's big, but it's gonna be like 10 times this size. So I'm excited to see what it looks like finished. Not exactly sure where this goes in the uh, whole uh, scheme of things, but it should all come together in the next couple hours. On to step number two. Let's get back at two there. So this right here, I'm assuming is the front portion of the crane. So we have this gear right here, which turns the, the steering and the wheels will be attached on either side here. And as the wheels are spinning, you can see the gears inside as kind of like a differential. So if one wheel, let's say this wheel up here is stop spinning, the other one can still function all by itself and they can work independently of each other. That's the, the purpose of a differential. All those gears and the little housing right there. Pretty sweet. So it might not look like we've accomplished much with the bags. There's still a lot more steps left. We just finished number four, but the cool part is we just mounted this motor and you can see the individual pistons right there inside. And so as the motor turns, you can see the pistons moving. Here's the fan in front, but you can also see where the wheels mount right here. They're turning as the motor pumps. <laughs> Okay, so we've been here for about seven hours working on this Lego project and we've gotten pretty far. It doesn't quite look like a crane yet. This is what it's supposed to look like. This is where we're at right now. It's kind of like a huge jigsaw puzzle and I think we've made it through half the pieces, but the last couple of pieces are gonna probably be the trickiest because they're all the same color. What's nice though is that we have these two massive books and they're pretty detailed. This is the first book that we're in and we haven't gotten to that second book yet. Yeah, but even though we're not through the first book, I still think we're probably halfway there just because by the time you get to the second book, you have less steps, less pictures because you're adding on to the whole structure. So after working on this for seven hours, it's definitely not like a difficult project, but it is very intricate and it keeps your mind and your hands active the whole time. Which brings me to one of my favorite quotes that I've ever heard by Harrison Ford. Anyone who stops learning is old, whether at 20 or 80. Anyone who keeps learning is young. The greatest thing in life is to keep your mind young. And I think building one of these Lego Technic projects is a way to keep your mind active and to keep your mind young. The wheels feel like they're pretty heavy duty rubber, so it should be interesting when we see them finally on the whole contraption. We're making progress. So when you turn this little knob in the back, it rotates all four tires at the same time. Also, fun little fact, as it's rolling forward and backward, you can see the pistons inside of the engine pistoning. 
Firing. Firing's the word. Oh, firing. We're done with book number one. Heck yeah. On to number two. So one interesting thing that translates into real life construction equipment and traffic cones are these, uh, these indicators. So if you see, when they go on a piece of construction equipment, like so, they indicate by slanting down which direction you should walk or which direction you should drive your car to avoid the dangerous obstacles in the middle. So it's nice to see that Lego is uh, translating these real life stickers onto their project. All right, this is day three, hour, how many hours have we been doing this? I think 11. Like 11 hours, and we should be able to finish today. We're on step 10 and a half. Just to be clear, we're halfway through step 10. There's no 10 and a half. <laughs> so on this crane, there is some powered movement, and it looks like it's all powered off of this one motor back here, using a couple different switches, like this guy right here, switching, you know, to drop the legs down or to raise the boom. And this motor connects to this battery pack, right here. If you remember those old school Lego Mindstorms, it has the same style of connector. There's these little metal bits inside of the Lego plug. And when it connects right here, the whole thing is powered. And you can go forward and reverse. So it'll be interesting to see how all of the gears and contraptions inside of this Lego Technic set work together when the uh, motor and the battery pack are working. So we're about to install the lift cable. So it's powered on right now. We have the battery pack here, the motor, and then this right here is a switch. So we're gonna bring that over to the side. This right here is a switch, so we're gonna bring that back. And now the battery's on, and we're reeling the line in on this spool, all automatically. And what's cool is you can see all the gears turning inside. And I imagine if I were to switch this, it would now drop the lever out and unspool the spool. Pretty sweet. Is this the part you've been waiting for? <laughs> yeah, this is the part I've been waiting for because there's a whole lot of red and I think it's gonna be more challenging to put it all together when it's all one color. So we're done with step number 10 and we have the whole base, oh shoot. <laughs> The whole base put up, and I think now we're gonna build the arm for the crane itself. So still like the interior stuff, but it should still, it should look much more like a crane when we're done with it. So we're 12 hours into it on step 11. There's a series of pulleys that she's threading it through. Can raise them over there. All right, three hours later, we finally have the uh, the arm of the crane done. Going all the way down. Okay, and lift her back up. Construction at its finest. All terrain. We are currently on step 967, and we will be adding some exterior, some clothing to the crane. Now that we finished one of these, I kind of want the whole fleet of construction equipment. <laughs> they do some pretty cool stuff. All right, we are finished. How many days? <laughs> how many days did that take us? Seventeen hours, five days. But it was worth it. Seventeen hours of entertainment. A week of Lego. It had eleven hundred and seventy steps. But the steps were very detailed. If this fell apart right now, I don't think I'd be able to reconstruct it. But with the step-by-step -step instructions, it did make it a lot easier. If I do this again, the crane is pretty sweet and the other construction equipment, but Lego also has a few cars. One is a blue Bugatti, which I think would be awesome to construct. So if you do end up buying one of these Lego Technic sets, the price factors into the entertainment of building it, as well as having something afterward you get to play with and have like as a piece of art. It's kind of like educational entertainment. If you're interested in seeing what kind of LEGO Technic sets LEGO has to offer, I'll put a link down in the description. Let me know in the comments which one you think is coolest and which one I should do next. Kind of leaning towards the Bugatti. Maybe I can talk Cambrian into coming over for that one. 
<laughs> it looks cool. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. I think we deserve some like ice cream or something. Thanks for stopping by. I'll see you around. Nope, also not how we do it. What is it? Thanks a ton for watching. We'll see you around.